So you just got yourself a brand new iPhone and you need to decide what to do with the old one. Well, there are a couple of options like giving it to a friend or a family member, trading it in, or even just selling it. But first, you need to reset the iPhone. I've received a number of questions about this process, so let's walk through the full reset process that you need to take after migrating to your new iPhone. So you may have just finished migrating from your old iPhone to your new one using my previous video that goes step-by-step -step to walk you through how to do that full process. And now you're sitting at this screen wondering what to do next. So the first thing we'll do is hit continue. And right now you're gonna have two options essentially to erase your iPhone. You can go ahead and hit continue and go through the full reset process now, or you can hit not now and do the reset later. Now, I will go through the full reset process here in just a minute, but I also want you to know that you can actually do this process at a later time as well. And in my opinion, if you just migrated to your new iPhone, I think you should skip this process for now and do the reset later. And that's because you may still have things on your old iPhone that didn't fully transfer over that you need. For example, some applications may not fully transfer everything like you would expect, like many two-factor or multi-factor authentication applications. It's too many words. You may need to get your new iPhone set up with MFA before deleting or erasing the old one because you may need to actually authenticate it using your old device. I've actually been in that situation and it was a pain in the butt because I already erased my device. So even if you can't think of a reason that you might need your old iPhone right now, give it just a few days if you can and be sure because the last thing you want is to really need something off of your old iPhone or to get information from it and you've already erased it. So like I said, I do suggest that you skip it for now if you just migrated. But if you are sure, we can go ahead and complete the reset process of the old iPhone by hitting continue. It's going to ask you for your iPhone passcode and I'll go ahead and enter that. And now it's going to ask for your Apple ID password. So I'm going to enter that password and then I'm gonna tap turn off at the top. And it may look like the iPhone is not doing anything for a number of seconds or even a minute or two, but it is actually doing something in the background. It's just, for some reason, the, the UI just kind of stalls right here for a few moments. So now it's going to tell you that, hey, you have eSIMs or electronic SIMs on this iPhone. Do you want to keep the eSIMs on this iPhone and erase the data, or do you want to delete the eSIM and erase the data? Of course, if you're just going through the reset process to reuse the iPhone for yourself, you're just trying to start over with a fresh OS installation, you can go ahead and keep those eSIMs. But for most people, for most reasons, you're going to delete those eSIMs because you're giving the phone away or trading it in or whatever. So on this old iPhone, I'm going to click on delete eSIMs and erase data and it's going to sit here again, and great. Now the reset process has started. Now the reset process has started, and I'll show you how to do the reset after this point in time if you need to, but the reset will take a few minutes, and I noticed you've been checking out my cases over here. This is the Mag Easy 4 case from channel partner Pitaka, and let me tell you about it. This is the Mag Easy 4 and the Mag Easy 4 Pro case from Pitaka. Both of these cases are made of aramid fibers, like what's used in aerospace and woven together to make a case that's both five times stronger and five times lighter than steel. The Maggie Z4 case is the thinnest and lightest MagSafe compatible aramid fiber case for iPhone. This Maggie Z case is perfect for someone who wants a case that is as light and thin as possible, but provides scratch and ding protection without getting in the way. Plus there's a built-in metal lip on the back to help protect the camera. And with the Maggie Z4, you can appreciate the titanium frame of the new iPhone 15 with the cutouts. With the Maggie Z4 Pro, you get even more protection with the blending of aramid fiber and TPU for a case that is both durable and slim. I really like the metal buttons on the Maggie Z4 Pro case and the lip on the front helps protect the display. Both of these cases have a smooth chamfered back edge which feels great to wrap your hand around and both have an NFC chip inside that you can scan to verify authenticity or to get things like wallpapers from Pataka. With the Maggie Z4 and the Maggie Z4 Pro, you get to choose between a minimalist, thin and light case with a great design or go with something with a little bit more protection for your new iPhone 15 or 15 Pro. Both of these cases come in a few color options and if you wanna pick up one of these Maggie Z cases, check out the links in the description below and my thanks to Pataka for sponsoring this video. All right, so the reset process has now completed and you're now ready to set up this old iPhone as new and you are now good to sell it or give it away or whatever at this point, you just go ahead and shut it down. Maybe you even wanna use it as a backup device for yourself, that's totally fine. But hopefully you took my advice earlier and waited a few days or a week before erasing the old device and made sure you had everything you needed on the old phone or off of the old phone onto the new one and that it's working fully as expected. 
And of course, the purpose of resetting the device is to securely remove all of your personal information so that nobody else can access it. And the iPhone does a really good job at just throwing away the encryption keys and starting completely fresh for the next person. So if it's been some time since you migrated to your new iPhone and you're ready to reset the old one finally, here's how you're gonna do that. You're gonna go into settings. And first of all, if you just migrated recently, you might actually have an option right up here to reset your old iPhone. I don't see that right now. So we're just gonna go down to general and we're gonna go down to the bottom and click on transfer or reset iPhone. And here we're gonna have two options. We can reset or erase all content and settings. Reset just resets some different setting options in here. That's not what you want. What you want is erase all content and settings. And right here, it's gonna tell you, here's all the information on this iPhone that will be removed by erasing this iPhone. It's all of your apps, your Apple ID, your Find My information, your Apple wallet information. So again, you can click not now, but we want to go ahead and do it. We'll click continue and then we'll type in our passcode. And right now it's going to do another backup for you. And I recommend that you actually let this backup process complete because if something goes wrong or for some reason you do need other information that was on this iPhone, you might be able to fully restore it to a different one. So go ahead and let the iCloud backup complete. Otherwise you can also hit skip at the bottom if you want to. And now it asks for the Apple ID password again. So I'm gonna type that password and then click turn off again. Now down at the bottom, it says, are you sure, absolutely sure you wanna erase the iPhone? I do, I'll click erase and we'll give it another moment. And there we go, the reset process has started. And that's pretty much it. That's everything you need to do to reset your old iPhone so you can give it away or hand it down to another friend or family member or whatever. So hopefully this video helped you reset your old iPhone and answered your questions. I've received a number of questions about this. so. Again, I hope it helped. And if you're still looking for how to set up your new iPhone with migrating from your old one to your new one, check out this video right over here. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked it. Hit subscribe if you want, and I'll see you next time.